Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, my new friend. Today we're starting a playthrough of a mod called Unslad, which is a part of a quest mod trilogy by Vicken, which also includes Vigilant and Lemoro, and it's going to be tragedy and comedy and all things weird, and I'm really looking forward to it. Alright, so here we are, me and my friend, um, over here, Dwarven Luggage. We are at High Road Car. It's a little bit cold, but we are equipped for it, I suppose. So. Okay. Let's touch this doll that one of the Greybeards forgotten here, clearly. Want to jump to? Um, excuse me? They can barely see you, though. As a dog doesn't want to work. The girl seemed so happy to jump. She said she could go home at last. The wind is as fine today as it was then. I think you could do what she did. This one needs something. I think your texture's changed since I last played. What girl? You know that girl. What was her name? Not so fuzzy. Dragon names are so hard to remember. So what's about a strange doll? Are you drunk? Maybe. I've been here longer than you and there was never any doll. Maybe you're on skooma or something. Why don't you go first? If I jumped first, I wouldn't be able to watch you now, would I? Do you need to watch me? But I could die. If you haven't died before, how do you know it's such a big deal? Yeah, fair point. What happens? Like I said, a good wind is blowing. Don't worry and leave the rest to kind. I don't know if I trust that kind that much, but uh, sure, my guy seems so defeated, like, oh no, I am drunk, I'm talking to a cat. Until next time. Alright. You have smoked way too much. But uh, yeah, sure, let's jump. Luggage, follow. Ah, yeah, this is new. Since I last tried out this mod, I think. I, I don't remember creepy people. Oh, wait, no. Creepy people teleport me upstairs. Oh, that's nice. Do I need to... So each time we have this little... Oh, the cat left. Jump of uh, excitement, right? I'm not gonna die now. No, okay. <laughs> Alright, that's how you get back. Anyway, me and luggage, we go. What's up? As I said, the wind is good today. Hmm. You're the second person to come here. Consider it an honor. Alright. Who was the first? A terrible flirt. Just terrible. The name was... Uh, I'm not sure what he said, actually. Just that he came from Alcair. No idea what that is. What is this place? Doesn't really matter. Let's focus on getting you to the castle so you can speak with that girl. But what do you mean not important? It's safe here, which is another word for boring. Ah. Wouldn't you rather do something more interesting? Eh, uh, maybe. Don't worry. Dragon or not... The girl won't eat you. Ah. Probably. Oh. As long as you don't provoke her. And feed her regularly. Alright, so she's a dragon. Half dragon. Still counts. She's not so different from you where it counts, so you needn't worry. Where it counts? What? what what's that supposed to mean? Luggage, she creeps me out. Anyway, let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Now. Oh, no. Look at that movement. Oh, no. Oh, something went wrong there for a sec. No, no, okay. I saw you do this. I saw you doing this, you know, weird, creepy. This person is busy. Okay, I'll let you go. I feel I feel that's like a very realistic thing, you know, the cat is laying down in the middle of the road and it's like, busy. Yep, that's the cat, all right. Anyway, I go on uh, myself, I guess. Those statues are everywhere. Hmm. Oh, you're glowing, and uh, what, whatever this is is moving. Hello. Oh, are you a friend of Aisha's? Totally. Who's Aisha? I am Ragnar the Grey. Pleased to meet you as well. My name is Arisa. I do hope Aisha wasn't rude to you. Well, I mean, apart from, you know, making me jump off the cliff, um, she's fine. I don't mind her being rude. 
Despite all that, she's really very affectionate. And she gets lonely easily. Typical cats, really. When I wake up, she's often crept into my lap. Aww. You seem like a kind person. So, please try to humor her. I'm more of a luggage person myself. Not a cat person, but I see. Oh, yes, I've been rambling, haven't I? Pardon me. It's strange, but... Somehow I feel as though this isn't the first time I've met you. It isn't, but technically well, the first time I'm doing a purple place with her. You're probably so cold here after all. Oh. A ring of chill bite. What to do? Reduces fire damage resistance. Hmm. Cute. I sense the soul of a dragon about you. Would you like me to turn that soul into power? Oh, uh, you can do that? Why would you? Because I'd like to help you if I can, as a dear friend. I just met you. Sure. Excellent. Please tell me when you're ready, then. Hello again. Oh, we can exchange the dragon souls for pork points, I think. Understood. What sort of power do you desire? Or is it... Oh, no, different things. Pork point knowledge. Okay, um... Magic of them? Let Kind's breath become a wind at your back! Oh god, don't yell at me, please. So, what's up with the cat? Aisha came here when I was a child. She was much smaller and... more docile back then. Hmm. Now she's only that way when no one else is watching. I see. Who was sniveling? Was it one of the footballs over there? So, have you ever been outside? Once, when I was a child. I wanted to find my father, so I tried going outside. Hmm, he probably was outside, wasn't he? That's not a pleasant memory. Oh. Men and Mer have long fought dragons. So, you think my outfit is a bit insensitive, or...? Anyway... <laughs> so, about the snowballs, or food balls, or whatever that is. Are they snow spirits? I don't know much about them either. Ah. My mother said they're spirits of those who perish in the snow. That's terrifying. Anyway... And what about your dad? Did you find him? I've never met him in person. Oh. My mother said that armored statue in Central Area depicts him. Statue in Central <laughs> Area. What, this one? The one with the doggies. And then a helmet. Yeah, that doesn't really have you much to go on. Alright. Oh, you're relating the candles or something. What can I do for you? Well then, um... So, who came here before me? He was a very passionate man. He called himself Hijalti when he first came here. But he seemed to have a new name each time he appeared thereafter. No. I think he stopped coming after Aisha clawed him especially badly. Oh. They never got along. Was he a... Dog? Anyway. So, something curious about Fluffy. Wait, who's Fluffy? Tell me about Fluffy. Aisha was playing around, and I guess he got so big that he came to life. He can be a little arrogant, but don't hold it against him. Alright. What about your mother? My mother's very ill. Oh. She's frozen the inner parts of the castle and won't see anyone. Even you? I don't think she ever really wanted to see me. Oh. With my horns and tail, after all. That's mean. So let's meet Fluffy. Hello? You have questions. I do, but somehow I don't feel like you have any answers. Hmm? Hello? Um, oh, there was a repeatable quest. Oh, I don't really want to do that. What do you have? Take a look. Where is it? Ah, oh, okay. Aha, uh -huh, and you sell a bunch of half dragon stuff. Um, a dress. Does, will it work on me? It's kind of hmm, interesting. Bashing does double damage. Also some unique rings here as well. 
torch ring. Increases regen when the torch is equipped. Swift handing. The dress works on me! Well, it grows me some boobs, which is a bit unfortunate. But it does work on me! <laughs> I, wish, I wish it was a separate model that uh, didn't, you know, change the figure, but interesting. Alright. <laughs> uh, anyway. Maybe not that, though. Um, this is a bit weird. A lot of clipping. So I guess no to this, but uh, we can keep this awkward. Need something? Why sell your wares here? Kajit sells things because Kajit likes shiny coins best when they are Kajit. They are Kajit? Kajit idly wonders whether there is anyone who sells things for another reason. Hmm. Do you know much about the list? Kajit has not heard any other dragon crying. I see. And Kajit has not heard Eurissa crying since you arrived. For this, Kajit is grateful. Because you don't like the However, noise, or...? Business is business, and Kajit offers no discount. It's because you don't like the noise from her crying, isn't it? Alright, so you're Kajit, I take it. I, I don't know, I, my great powers of deduction. Led me to this assumption. Yes, Kajit is Kajit, although Kajit does not remember much else. Same. You remember your name? Kajit does not remember a name, but must have been a handsome and clever thief, or a mighty warrior, or perhaps a great wizard. Kajit remembers glorious battles against Argonia. Unless, perhaps, Kajit only reads about them in books. Hmm. So, you know much about Aisha? What a troublesome cat. Kajit became like this because of that cat's thoughtless play. So, do you have any ideas about exploring, you know, entering the castle? Kajit might have a key. This key might be sold for the 1,000 septum. If this were true, Aisha would not hear of it. Could you stop in this movement, huh? Not like it's so weird. To Kajit. Ah. Alright, sure. Kajit appreciates your wise and prudent decision to give many, many shiny coins to Kajit. Mm. Oh, and here is the key. Enjoy the coins. Until next time. Alright. Jesus, the movement is really creepy. Right. I don't think this is the place. So, um, wait. Oh, it's just... I could sleep here. Oh, that's nice. Note from Fluffy. Feel free to use it. Alright. The walls are crumbling and stuff, but uh, it's like totally safe to sleep here. Fluffy's coin stash. <laughs> Fluffy. Hmm. And a cooking pot. Oh, excuse me. And a cooking pot here and all. Very cute little um, house. And it's close to High Rolker too, so. Great role playing opportunities. Oh, wait. Hello. Oh, what? Jesus, I thought we were talking and such. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, okay. Yeah, I kind of got that. Yeah. Got the memo. Thank you. You're gonna, you're gonna get out, can't you? Gonna try and scare me, I bet. Hmm. 
Yep, called it. Still scary, but I called it. Excuse me. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that is a lot of damage. Well, that was terrifying. Potion drinking mod is just not working for me for some reason right now. Alright. This guy doesn't react to us at all, which is also kind of weird. Hello? Oh no, you do want to kill me. Okay, I wasn't sure. I set myself on fire. All right, that's that's okay too. Um, kind of a weird one. Oh, hello. Um, what's up? Oh, Jesus. Thank God you were stuck. What's your name? Oh, it's uh, that's a cool stuff. He was just drinking here and boning some dragons. Um, it's a bit of a weird place to chill out, but okay. Ooh, ooh, mage shield. Nice. Oh my god, all these custom meshes from this author, they're so brilliant. Hello? Oh, I see you now. And you. Oh, the guy who's probably even more dangerous to me. I don't know. Yeah, I figured. Okay, well. I don't think I can sneak around here, so I suppose might as well come to light. A dragon. Whichever she chooses to be, I see nothing but darkness choking her future. I could never love her as she was. Every time I looked at her, I grew more agonizingly aware of the mistake I had made. Mommy, mommy, tell me. I want to hear you say it just once. Ah, yes. Your... Thank you, mother. Estella has finally received. Oh! She now like me. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot I had that. Kinda, yeah, I mean, I'm kinda shit, sorry about that. 
Oh yeah, yeah, I'm all utterly, totally shit, sorry to the correction here. Yeah, that, that's not a thing by the way. In case you're wondering... Oh no, it is a thing! Also. Oh, you clearly choose to actually. I just came here to talk. No, 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 what, what, no, oh, no. All right. All right. Everything's fine. I do. Mm, Amulet of Kinnereth. Yeah, sure, I'll take your dress. Mm, nice. Ring of Favor, oh, you kill someone's mother and that's what you get. Right, is it any good, that thing? It is actually pretty good, it's also pretty cute. It's also pretty massive. Weapon Art, oh, also, right. Is it like on... Ah, it's a shot, I think it's on a power attack. Slashing sideways when moving creates a storm. Jesus. Does it work with true direction of movement? Or do we need to... Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, she's dead, so... It does, you need to press Z at the same time, or oh, like whatever you use for shouting. Alright, it uses magic though. Overall, very interesting. Thanks. Dead lady. Aha, uh -huh. doll. The doll is an imitation of Willis. It's filled with her most, her mom's most powerful magic. Tear off the tail, burn the doll, take the doll, do nothing. Do nothing. No, do nothing doesn't seem to progress quest in, in general. Alright, well, uh, those two seem violent and she doesn't seem so bad, so I'm just gonna take it, I guess. Give it back to Ulysses. Alright, now I'll be back. If I won't get murdered, I probably will get murdered on the way out. Ah, it's really nice to be outside, I have to say. Let's take another look at your dad. Yeah, well, he's kind of a weird one. He has uh, three little doggies, a big stick, and uh, a dragon on his shoulder. Alright. Oh, money. What the hell? Fluffy's coin stash. <laughs> Fluffy, you don't know how to hide money. <laughs> Thankfully for me. Alright, hello. Oh, did you need something? Well no, but I found your doll. I don't have any dragon souls at the moment. Uh, from your mom, yeah. So is this when I tell you that I killed her? I don't know, maybe later. This... So my mother was thinking of me all along. Kinda? Thank you so much. This is the first time I've felt such... Do I need to tell her that I killed her? What? Alright. I feel better. Okay. What do we do now? Hello again. Well, sorry about your mom. I think maybe this was for the best. Oh, so to, you kind of figured? To her place with kind. I murdered her violently. She couldn't before because she After she murdered me, me several more times. I can take care of myself. I've become strong. Okay. Um, you feeling okay? I'm fine. More than ever. My heart feels warm now. Um, well, I guess I'll, I'll go now. Until next time. 